The Citizens Coalition for Change CCC, led by Nelson Chamisa, has suffered a major blow when the Supreme Court dismissed their petition against the recall of its lawmakers. Senjizo Chibangu. The self-declared interim secretary general of the CCC started the recall campaign by asserting that the MPs were no longer party members. In a unanimous decision, Justices Joseph Miyazakwa, Lavender McConey, and Susan Mavandra declared the appeal to be fatally flawed. Advocate Louis Uriri, who is representing Chibangu, opposed to the appeal, claiming that once the High Court ruling was merged, the CCC neglected to notify all parties involved. Uriri's argument was accepted by the court, which emphasized that all parties from the earlier court need to have been mentioned. The court believes that the appeal has fatal flaws. The Supreme Court's Rule 37-2 was not followed by the notices of appeal. As a result, this court is not considering any legitimate appeals. Justice Musaqua declared, The preliminary issues raised have been upheld. In the end, the appeal was denied, and the CCC was ordered to pay costs. The party of Chamisa suffers a great deal from this decision as it makes it more difficult for them to fight the recalls and hold on to its lawmakers. The High Court Judge Justice Munamato Mutabedzi's original decision in favor of Chibangu had cleared the path for the nomination court to meet on November 7 and the announcement of the by-election date. The CCC member's application, according to Justice Mutabedzi, was unable to establish Chibangu's falsity. The CCC will be significantly impacted by the verdict as it attempts to negotiate Zimbabwe's complicated political landscape. The party will have a difficult time retaining its influence and advancing its political agenda now that the recall of its lawmakers is still valid and its appeal has been denied. Under Nelson Chamisa's direction, the CCC has been a significant player in Zimbabwean politics, pushing for reform and opposing the ZANU-PF party in power. But this latest blow highlights the difficulties and legal barriers the opposition party has in gaining political power. Watchers of politics will be keenly interested in seeing how the CCC handles this setback from the Supreme Court as it gets its act together and considers its alternatives. The course that the party and Zimbabwe's political landscape take in the future may depend on the results of their next moves. Their capacity to mobilize support and how well they adjust to the shifting political environment.